So on this poster, this is actually out in the classroom, and this references the filtration system that you can use on the enlargers and the difference that it will make in your pictures by adding or decreasing the amount of contrast in your pictures. Um, so you'll notice on here there are different grade levels. Those grades are referring to the level of contrast in the picture. Uh, you can buy photo paper that is different grades. So you can buy like a grade four paper or a grade three paper. We use what's called a variable contrast paper, which means that we can use filters to either increase or decrease the amount of contrast in the picture uh, based on the picture itself. So some pictures may need more added to it than others. So that's kind of the beauty of using variable contrast paper. So you'll notice this picture in the middle has no filter on it. So that is what the picture would look like without any added contrast, which isn't bad. And you'll notice that it is equal to a grade two, okay? Those are pretty much the, exactly the same. I don't know if you can see that or not in the video, but if you look at the poster uh, out in the classroom, you will see that they are the same. The grade one, you can see, is a little bit lighter in contrast, and then grade zero has even less contrast. It just kind of gets grayer. You kind of lose the deep, dark uh, tones and the lighter tones as well, and everything kind of flattens out as you de decrease the contrast. Typically, we are increasing the amount of contrast. So again, this is equal to a grade two. If you look at grade three, a little bit higher, grade four, especially if, I can, if we can see them side by side like that, you notice even more contrast. You see the brighter areas uh, and the darker areas being more noticeably different, and even more so in grade five. So that might be a little too much contrast for this picture. Um, some, sometimes you want to base your contrast on, you know, just your preference. Some people like more contrast in the pictures than others. Uh, I think grade three is pretty good as far as the level of contrast. So for this picture, I would go with a grade three. But again, it's going to depend on the picture that you're starting with. Some pictures that have less contrast, or if you have a picture that is really low in contrast, it may not get up to that level of contrast just by adding a grade five, okay? So it's gonna make a difference in how much contrast you're starting with as to how much to add. So that's why we like to take a look at your contact sheet and see how much uh, contrast a photo has before we decide how much you might need to add. So when you go in to make your enlargements, especially before you make your test strip, you'll need to decide if you're going to need to add some. I would say 90% of the time you will need to add some because I think uh, grade two, which is equal again to no filter, having no filter on at all, it tends to be a little bit on the low to medium side of the contrast level. Okay, so typically we do want to add some contrast. So a grade three is perfect. Um, if you like more contrast or you need more contrast, going to grade four. And if you really need a lot of contrast added, going to a grade five. So I would typically, if you're starting off with a picture that seems okay, grade three will probably be good. But you almost always want to add contrast to black and white photography because you don't have that color to be able to attract and hold the viewer's attention. You need those whites and those dark areas popping out to make it more interesting, okay, because you don't have the color. So make sure that you're using the filters. They are very easy to use. Make sure you're using them and they will make your pictures look better.